Hello, I'm Glenn. And I'm Brett. And we are the Penumbra Brothers. We focus, focus on you. Hello again, this is Glenn. This time we're going to do a calcaneus, um, also your heel. We're going to do the lateral first. So when you do the lateral, you want to make sure that the knee and the ankle are in the same plane. And just like when you're doing a lateral first, lateral foot, you want to make sure that the plane of the plantar surface of the foot is perpendicular to your IR. So you want to sit on the calcaneus and collimate just to the calcaneus. You really don't need the entire joint space, but you do want to include the ankle, but you don't need to get way out here in the front of the foot. Place your marker and image your film. Now on the uh, axial ankle or axial calcaneus, I'm going to have you straighten your foot all the way out, tip it up towards the top. There we go. Now we want 40 degrees caudal angulation, so you want to angle towards the head. So when you do that, you want to make sure that you still maintain the approximate distance. So I'm going to need to scoot you down this way a little bit. Okay, so we're angling at 40 degrees. Now the difficult part is, uh, much of the time somebody can't pull their foot up very well. Um, now Nikki's pretty capable, so she can bend her foot up. So you want a nice 90 degree angle. And you want to center mid shaft or mid body of the calcaneus. And shoot your film, and again, Make sure you maintain that 40 inch distance when you angle that much. It can be kind of hard to tell. And we are at 39 inches, so that's pretty close. When you image your film, you want to make sure that you get the calcaneo tailor joint, and you also want to be able to see the sesotaculum tali. If you can see those two, you've got a good axial calcaneus. And that's your heel. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe and notification button. See you soon.